hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i just received these sheets that i've been eyeing for a little bit and they're from frette i don't know if you've ever heard of the company i thought it was called fret but it's frette how bougie is that right <laughs> um but they just came and i was undoing them i was like i should show you guys this and tell you about the sheets this is my first time buying from this company but they are in you know hotels like the saint regis the um in new york the like five star hotels which is pretty neat and they're supposed to be really nice italian sheets and having a good night's sleep and sleeping on nice sheets i recognize is important based on sleeping on not too nice sheets you notice the difference so let's get into it i'm so excited oh my gosh yeah okay so it came in this and it had fret on it or i'm sorry frette 1860 and this little blue card which i hadn't opened yet let's see okay it says cotton like literally it says cotton <laughs> it says since 1860 frette has combined the finest fibers and most skilled artisans to craft linens and home furnishings of unparalleled quality known for their chic original design and inimitable inimitable i should know this word <laughs> but i'm messing it up uh finish and feel Frette linens have come to represent luxury, comfort, and craftsmanship in the most refined hotels and homes across the globe. How lovely. It talks about the feel and finish of your linen is down to two things, the length and quality of the cotton fibers and Frette's traditional finishing process. The cotton staples selected for Frette's per cows and sateens are the highest quality available in the world. I chose sateen. I don't like the, I'm not a big fan of per cow just because it's a bit too crispy for me. Yeah, too crispy, kind of like a, um, it, yeah, I don't want to call it rough, but it's, a, it's not as soft to me. The longer the fiber, the stronger and smoother the yarn it creates. Once the yarns have been woven, Frette's bespoke finishing methods give the final fabric its durability distinctive silky appearance and most important it's indulgent and luxurious tactility yeah they have some other stuff here avoid placing it in sunlight all that stuff and all right let's look at them it says frette on there and it comes in this like buttoned thing and i opened it and i was like oh that smells nice and i felt it and i was like oh <laughs> can i just say that they feel really soft <laughs> okay that's a sham not this is a sham this is a sham s-h-a-m <laughs> that would be funny I'm like this is a sham this is terrible no i didn't mean that it's soft and mine came with two shams instead of pillowcases i can buy those separately which is fine to me i wanted shams made in italy they have this smell like this new fresh yeah it's a different type of smell but the gray is beautiful the stitching is nice yeah it's soft <laughs> and it's a nice weight to it okay so guys what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep on these and then I'm going to tell you what I think about them and if they're worth the hefty price tag that they're <laughs> that they're asking um, well I don't want to say if they're worth the hefty price tag there is there's a hefty price tag but the truth is is that so I don't mention prices a whole lot on my channel when I'm reviewing things that I like um, because if you like it, the truth is that for me, it doesn't matter if 
my concealer or my makeup gave me a small pot if if like luminous silk if armani gave me half the amount for the same price i would still buy it because i love the product and so i don't mention prices really because if it's a good product to me then it's a good product you know are there other products you can buy sure there's other products you can buy but if i like the product and you're willing to pay the money or what have you then okay but if you're not willing to pay the money that's okay too but i don't think i should say to you guys oh this is not a good product because it costs more well is it a good product and that's that's really one of those things that's subjective so someone else could say you know they don't give me a lot of products so this is a horrible product and it's terrible and oh my gosh i can't believe they would think that i would pay this much for and then to someone else they're like oh my gosh this is an amazing product i don't care how much you know they charge i think it's so subjective that i would prefer just to talk about the product and say if it's a good product or not and you make the decision if you want to spend the amount of money for the product I think that's a good way of doing it <laughs> and that's how I do it on my channel to the sorry for the tangent this is pretty this is pretty you guys know how I love to smell stuff but yeah this is pretty and I'm gonna try these out and I'm gonna come back in about a week and tell you what I think because of course I sleep on them and then I wash them and and tell you how they wash and all that stuff so yeah I'll see you in a moment all right guys it's been a week and i'm back <laughs> so of course with straight hair um let me tell you about the sheets what my thoughts are they're soft they're not satiny so they're not that you know that shiny uh sheet stuff that's it feels soft and it's kind of slippery and you know i don't mind it <laughs> uh but it's not that it's a mix between the kind of kind of the crispy percal and the satiny softness of the kind of satin sheets it comes with two shams instead of pillowcases i saw this on some website a few websites that in europe shams are used as pillowcases whereas in america we use them as decorative objects which i thought shams were just decorative objects i didn't I never slept on the shams I would you know you put them at the foot of the bed or on the floor and then in the morning you put them back on to make your bed look pretty now here are some things when I put on the, some of the some of the pros is that they are cool they yeah they're nice the color is beautiful it looks nice on the bed for the king bit it didn't it didn't actually fit the king bit it was too big so I had to tuck in the edges and the corners because the sheet was was pretty big <laughs> it was huge uh secondly so the sham this is after i wash it oh let me turn it this way after i washed it the direction said it's soft it is soft it's nice but it's not super soft um direction said to don't tumble dry it but to dry it into as damp hang dry the rest of it and then put an iron over it so these are high maintenance sheets <laughs> these aren't sheets that you could just take out the dryer and put them on your bed if you do that i did that and want to see you know you get the crinkly type of you know oh no i did have it the right way you get the crinkly you need to iron these out these after you sleep on them once they are wrinkled when i say wrinkled they are wrinkled not sleep on them once take them out the dryer they are wrinkled i try to have a setting on my dryer that is steam unwrinkled type of thing did okay but you know you need to iron these if you want that out the dryer look that some of some other sheets may give that's you know smooth and and there's no wrinkles in it no there's wrinkles everywhere <laughs> <laughs> so i will probably iron these i'm gonna buy more sheets from frete i like them i'm gonna try out some of their other different fabrics sheet fabrics 
who are cottons. <laughs> uh, but yes, I think I think the biggest thing is that I learned about these was that they're they're high maintenance sheets. You know, you find these in five star hotels. They have the you know pressing iron that goes through all the sheets and stuff like that. Yeah, you you need to maintain these sheets with a good press and oh the length of the of the of the flat sheet is great because you can pull it down and pull it back over and have that line the top embroidery line no it's a really they're really pretty sheets and i would recommend them they're beautiful so i just have to figure out how to make sure these are stuffed right but that has nothing to do with frette i just I'm new to the whole non-euro sham thing, the king size sham stuff. I do like the sheets, they're great. I'll buy more. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a wonderful Easter Sunday or just a Sunday if you do not celebrate Easter. Uh, just spending time with your family or watching some Netflix. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. Nice.